this better be important. I'm sorry, Dr. Anderson, but your brother's been trying to reach you. What does that man want now? Put him through. Yes, Doctor. Ah, Dr. Anderson, I presume. Ah, Dr. Frankenstein, I presume. So, how are you enjoying the apartment? Well, I hope you don't mind, but I had to take a few liberties. It needed some sprucing up. What? You endanger those surgically gifted hands of yours with manual labor? Oh, how careless. Well, it needed a, a little cleaning and some painting and quite a lot of fumigating. Really? I thought you would feel at home with all the other vermin, Sam. Oh, no. It was you who enjoyed slumming, my dear brother. If you don't like this apartment, I can always sublet. No, no. Across the street from Starfleet Medical is just fine. Across the street from Starfleet Medical? I never knew. Do you mind if I put some of your things? In storage? Do as you like. I will be gone for some time. Six years, did you say? Possibly seven, depending on how things play out. What are you up to out there, dear brother? Nothing. I will not let this slow me down. I'm a middle-aged man in the prime of my life. Besides, if anyone has a reputation for being up to something, you need look no further than your own mirror, dear brother. Middle-aged? You don't know that. Most Vulcans live well over 200 years. Yes, well, I'm not most Vulcans, am I? Your metabolism is just slowing down a bit. It will most likely level off, and you'll be an old, old man for many, many years, long after we're gone. Ah, there's that to look forward to. Are you putting on weight? Sam, your bedside manner is impeccable. You should have become a doctor. Sorry, just trying to help. Did you make a list of candidates like I asked you to? I've saved you from that taxing process. What? I have an interview for you. You'll love him. He's marvelous. Sam, no. I told Captain Walker the only way I would accept this position if I could pick my own medical staff. Do you know what a luxury this is for me? I understand, but this kid is special. Kid? Sorry, poor choice of words. But this young man is exceptional. I need seasoned personnel. This is one of your little prodigies, I surmise. Yes, as a matter of fact, he is. Oh, God. He's an MD. I need a nurse. And he's a DDS. My teeth are fine. I need a nurse. And a DVM. I can take care of George and Gracie myself. I need a nurse. He's also a- Stop. Let me guess. A black belt in Taekwondo. Actually, I think it's jujitsu. Sam, I don't have time for your little games. I have a lot of very important work to do today. Skip, I'm serious. Just meet him. I've known this young man all his life. Since when did you become an obstetrician? He's very unique. I need you to... Lieutenant Reno, it... Eli needs someone to keep an eye on him. I've kept him at Starfleet for as long as I can, but I'm... Excuse me? You need me to watch him? Lieutenant Eli Marino just needs some light supervision, some guidance. I'm a doctor, Sam, not a governess. When did you become so callous? Oh, I don't know. When were you born? So, what is this Wonder Boy's Achilles heel? Nobody's perfect. That may not be true in his case. What aren't you telling me? Remember when we were in medical school? A historian, I am not. At first, I thought it was a joke. A prank. Like upperclassmen would play on freshmen. A prank? What? 
While I was doing some research for my thesis, I discovered a brilliant file of human genetic manipulation theories and practices. There it was, tucked away neatly in the library archives. I've been studying it for years. I believe it may be the work of the late Dr. Sun. Sam, no. All of that man's crazy works were destroyed years ago. They must be forgeries. How could you think? I found his error, Skep. I've completed his work. I've perfected his work. Lieutenant Eli Francis Marino is the result. Sam, you didn't. You're not serious. He's my son, Skip. Your nephew. No. No, 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 no. Why are you telling me this now? How dare you jeopardize my career with this foolishness? Your career? Does the phrase guilty by association ring a bell? I thought you'd be excited for me, Skip. <laughs> the bloody hell I am! Sam, do you have any idea the level of poor judgment you... and your unethical practices? Gotcha. What? God, you are so gullible. Oh, I really do hate you sometimes. Why a man of your age and reputation still participates in these childish shenanigans is beyond me. Oh, and Skip, lay off the Vulcan desserts. Well, that didn't go quite as planned. Dr. Anderson, the movers are here. Yes, Eli. I'll be there in a moment. 